I am Felicia Day, and this is my show. If you like it, press the subscribe button, because I just ask you. Tomorrow night, my friend Sean Plodd kicks off his Hangout at 8 show here on Geek and Sundry. He and his friends talk relationship stuff as they play through romance-heavy video games and drink beer. Seems like it's going to be a hot, awesome mess. So tune in live at 8 p.m. tomorrow, right here on Geek and Sundry, Pacific. And now I'd like to share my Trio Mio of the week. Trio Mio, you like that name still? I don't care. Number one, Resonance is an old school point and click adventure game with a few modern twists. Like you could switch between four different characters as you play. There's also a really cool mechanic called shirt and long-term memory banks that allows you to solve puzzles in really innovative ways. Warning, some of the puzzles are really hard, so you're probably gonna have to cheat. Just like when I was seven, when I couldn't get through King's Quest three and I called the hotline and I ran up a $400 phone bill. <laughs> My mom hit it for my dad. Thanks, mom. Number two this week comes from Tweeter at The Mighty Button. The Drunken Moogle is a blog that combines two awesome things, gaming and drinking. They feature recipes, drinking games, glassware, even a list of barcades that you can visit and get drunk at. The life-size Transformers wine rack they recently featured makes me want to become a Leshomatic 5000. Drinking, drinking, drinking. Oh, fun, guys, fun. So much fun. Pass out. Lastly is a webcomic called Wondermark. The art is pulled by the author from 19th century wood cuttings and newspaper clippings, but the humor is totally modern and biting. In this one comic, Gax, the penis neck dinosaur, is with Maureen, and Maureen is concerned because Gax missed the book club, so she invites a terrier over to get him out of his bad mood, and he gets angry. It's way funnier when you read it, I promise. In this segment this week, my friend Morgan Webb and I go get our Katniss on, or our Brave, or Green Arrow, or Hawkeye. Wow, 2012 is the year of the bow and arrow, man. I'm here with my friend Morgan. In Fullerton. In Elf Ears. And we're in high tech archery, and we're gonna learn how to shoot arrows at not people, but targets, right? Yes. Well, we gotta shoot targets first so that when we shoot people, we aim accurately. We don't want them to suffer, we want to one shot them. Let's go. Okay. So this is Chad. He is the archery master. Is that your title? Coach. Co oh, okay. Archery coach. And he's gonna teach me and Morgan how to um, shoot today. He knows everything. Chad's never been on camera before. So, and he's never done a segment with a girl with elf ears on, so. Two first. Yeah. We'll have Annika demonstrate what you guys are gonna be doing. If you had elf ears on, would you be better or worse? So this is your arm guard. Mm -hmm. It's gonna go on your left arm, on the inside, right by your elbow. Mm -hmm. And this will protect your arm from the string. So this could be t potentially dangerous. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't told that before. I wasn't. I mean, I didn't. I had no idea. Okay. okay. What are these called? Arm guards. Ah. Wait, I keep looking for fancy uh, lingo, <laughs> and there just isn't any. This is an arrow. Now for arrows, I need to see your arm length. Can I have? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I have orange? <laughs> You're very demanding. No, I'm just <laughs> saying. If I'm gonna, this is the one time I'll ever do archery. I need to have, be branded. Conceivably, are we are we on the same elf team or are we opposing each other? I think we're on the same team. She's the elf authority we decided downstairs. <laughs> All right, so I'm orange. What color is Morgan? I've always been partial to blue, hmm. but she's royalty. I'm just a serf in our elf clan. We don't. We need to name our elf clan. We're the web clan. <laughs> that is right. It is my clan. <laughs> it's a clan. Chop chop, everybody. Chop chop. <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna get you set up to uh, shoot. How hard is this gonna be? Um, I've had six-year-olds do it pretty So it's easily. hard, is what you're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> so we might not be good. So we're going to fail this miserably. OK, continue. <laughs> but we can be shown up by a six-year-old. <laughs> Maybe. OK. This more, looks more like a, a bow and arrow that I would play in Mass Effect versus Skyrim. OK. This is very um, light. <laughs> you kill elves all day. Yeah. Well, no, you're going to kill other elves? Well, if they're trying to take over my tribal land, my elven, if they want Rivendell, I'm fighting. We are enemies. Put one foot on either side of the line. Okay. Uh, those on the little. Oh, so this goes in the inside. All right. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow. How do I let go of it? Just open your fingers. What? Whoa! <laughs> That was not the reaction I should have done. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you how to pull arrows. This is where all the injuries happen in archery. Wait, what? <laughs> For pulling? This is the dangerous part? <laughs> yeah. So when you approach your arrows, you don't want to walk straight into them. It happens a lot, we don't know why. Are you serious? <laughs> Looking around me, pulling. What do I do? I forgot. You lay it up against the oh. wall. Okay, I already finished one. my arrows. Okay, fine. Okay, look. 
it's an Alvin processional. Our two clans united as one. Uh, that's the graduation recession. <laughs> Okay. For me, imagine it's the body of your fallen lover, Ain Wynn. Whoa! Whoa! We could beat this Morlock, Morlock invasion yet. It's just, it just be like, slow down. I gotta get my bow in. <laughs> I gotta get my arrow in. Just slow down. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Just wait a second. It's Hang cool. on, guys. You're gonna get killed really good, but just. I'm also gonna try to stop my heartbeat for a second so that my thoughts more stable. <laughs> Whoa! I, I have to say, no matter what, you look majestic. Again, again. I'm just gonna go now. <laughs> <laughs> I would just like to point out that I got a yellow, uh, an arrow into the yellow section, and I'm pretty much good now. I think my archery career has just hit the top that it's ever gonna hit. Okay, it's enough of it. I did this, so I, to me, I never want to be confined by a bullseye and say what, you know, have society set the standard for success for me. So this right here, is my personal bullseye. So that was our archery experiment. I only got hurt a little bit. Oh. I'm oh. gonna have a nasty bruise and I'm gonna show it to everybody. What will you say though? You were, okay, good. Okay, one good. of them got me with um, one of their orc machetes. Mm -hmm. um, Those are not good. Probably has some poison on it. Exactly. I, but don't worry, I fought it off with my superb archery skills. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for coming to play with me. I enjoy myself a lot. Thank okay. you for having me. Yeah, and uh, we are the elven goddesses. <laughs> And to wrap up this week, our question of note comes from Kuruvata, who asks, if you were to have a beard, what kind would you have? Hmm. Dear Kuruvata, beards, like glasses, must flatter face shapes. So let's look at the options. The classic Santa beard, George R. R. Martin Burley beard, or the beard that killed all the family members. Is the Fu Manchu a mustache or a beard? Uh, whatever. Oh, bubble beard. Heh. <laughs> These are all great beards, but if there's one beard I had to choose, it would most definitely be the Dumbledore. If I ever rode a motorcycle, it would fly behind me, waving proudly in the wind. Sincerely, Felicia Day. Okay, Kuruvada, your letter is on its way. And if you'd like to submit your own trio mio or question of note, please email theflog at geekandsundry.com. See you next week. Bye!